Welcome to Building Data Visualizations with D3 and Angular 2. My name is Matt Dionis, and I am a self-taught developer. One of the most beneficial tools I used while learning how to program were video courses similar to this one. I am excited to give back to the community by teaching and hope to inspire others to pursue a rewarding career in development. I spend most of my time working with JavaScript and JavaScript frameworks and libraries, specifically Angular, Angular 2, D3, and Node. I'm fortunate enough to work with the incredible team at Circle, where I help build internal tools. Visit circle.com to learn more about the exciting apps and services we are building. I can be reached on Twitter, at Matt Dionis, and I encourage you to reach out with any and all questions, comments, and feedback. In this brief section, we will lay the foundation for our Angular 2 app by installing Node.js, installing project dependencies using NPM, establishing configuration settings, and building a very basic Angular 2 component. Now, for a sneak peek at what we will be building in this section, we will begin by learning how to import JSON data using D3 functions. We will then attach this data to elements within the document object model, more commonly known as the DOM. Next, we will use SVG to build a basic bar graph. Finally, we will customize this bar graph by adding interactivity, setting the color, setting a scale and attaching axes, and adding some basic labels. In this section, we will briefly discuss D3 mapping. Next, we will gain an understanding of both GeoJSON and TopoJSON data. We will then learn how to use command line tools to produce TopoJSON files. Finally, we will use D3 to style a choropleth map based on top of JSON data. In this section, we will add a legend to our map. Next, we will add some basic interactivity in the form of zooming. Finally, we will learn how to add custom tooltips to our map. In this section, we will begin by discussing modularity in Angular 2 apps. Next, we will tackle components and their importance within Angular 2 apps. After this, we will discuss data and event binding. We will then go over services in Angular 2. Finally, we will wrap up this section by discussing unit testing in Angular 2 applications. In this section, we will begin by introducing Angular CLI which makes creating a basic Angular 2 app very easy. Next, we will work with structural directives and class bindings to make our template more dynamic. We will then review creating services as well as mock data. Next, we will introduce Angular 2 forms and add one to our app. We will then discuss adding routing to our app. Finally, we will wrap things up by writing some unit tests. In this section, we will begin by discussing our Node.js, specifically Express, server. We will then learn how to import D3 into our Angular 2 app. Finally, we will learn how to use D3 to display data in real time. In this section, we will make use of the input decorator while building a tweet component. We will then begin using D3 as we build a scatterplot component. We will continue to use D3 as we build a map component. Finally, we will add some basic interactivity and animations.